being a 3D artist can be one of the best ways to make money in computer graphics industries because we are seeing exponential growth in the use of 3D software in many fields such as VFX, animation, video game development, design, architecture, VR and much more. The question is, can you be part of this and make money as a Blender artist? In this video we are going to discuss the potential of Blender when it comes to the possibilities it brings to artists as a tool for making money. Working in studios When it comes to working in the main industries that use 3D software, such as the video game development, VFX for feature film and TV shows, the lion's share goes to the other 3D software such as 3ds Max, Maya, Houdini, Cinema 4D and so on because these software were used since the beginning in the 90s and they continue to be used later on. I would like to think of Blender as the underdog of 3D software. It is strong and it is slowly but surely putting its foot in the door as we have seen recently with more small and medium studios that actually started using it. Also studios such as Ubisoft showed their interest by becoming supporters of its development to start using it. If anything this gives hope to new and even professional artists to actually work in a studio that actually uses Blender. Of course this is probably gonna be possible in the years to come. But I would say right now the majority of artists that use Blender as their main 3D software don't make money from working in studios. But it seems like things are changing for the better nonetheless. Freelancing Freelancing is one of the most popular sources of income for Blender artists whether they are beginners or professionals. Because there is a lot of demand when it comes to 3D work from individuals, studios and companies. Even though the demand is high, the competition is also high, which means that it is a little bit harder for beginners, but it is possible to make it if you persist longer. In freelance, the more you do it, the easier it gets. But this is not always the case, at least for everyone. A lot of artists struggle to keep money coming in consistently because it is a competitive sport and you need to be on your feet all the time. Artists who are actually successful when it comes to freelance are those who have industry experience which means they worked in game development, VFX or they worked for companies that needed 3D artists in general. Their experience allowed them to have a better understanding of clients needs, price negotiation and their experience also make them sought after by companies and studios. Selling 3D models Selling 3D models is one of the methods that you can follow to generate income as a 3D artist using Blender. If you created 3D models before or previous project you worked on, you'll probably want to put them up for sale instead of letting them collect dust. But just keep in mind that you need to be good at it to see success in selling assets in general, especially 3D models, because they will be purchased in order to be a part of a production pipeline, whether it be a video game, in animation, cinematic, art viz, advertisement, and so on. But I would say there is a difference in the required quality between models that are going to be used in art viz and those that are going to be used for cinematics, which require more attention to details. Actually, there are a lot of websites for selling and purchasing 3D models like Turbo Squid, CG Trader, 3D Export, 3D Ocean, and so on. Also, you can sell in asset stores like Unreal Marketplace, Unreal Asset Store, and the Blender Market. Selling Material Packs 3D artists need materials all the time to work on their projects. And what makes the demand even higher is the fact that there are a lot of different render engines and 3D packages that need different kinds of materials. If you are good at using software such as Substance Designer, then you will be able to create custom or specialized materials that you can use for your projects and make some money off of by selling them in marketplaces. Create a blog. Creating a blog is not only good for making money alone, but for your own development and understanding of your craft as a Blender artist. This method is going to take longer for you to see any monetary value in return because the content needs to gain authority over time. If you follow this route, I don't recommend focusing on money too much, even though this alone might generate more money than you might possibly think, in the long term of course. And there are people who are going to consume your content if they see more and more coming in consistently. You can document your journey as a 3D artist, create tutorials, or have people to know more about 3D. You can write about things you are interested in or those things that you want to learn. Selling courses. This one is definitely not for beginners because if you want to create courses, 
you need to have a solid understanding of what you are talking about because people who buy courses assume that artists who create them have experience. You don't need to have industry experience necessarily in order to create 3D courses because if you have been creating tutorials for a long period of time on your blog or for YouTube channel for example and people liked it, then you can collect the knowledge that you shared with them in a form of a paid course because this way it's gonna be more organized, easy to understand and of higher quality of course. You can sell the courses online in popular websites such as Udemy, Teachable, Gumroad, just to name a few. Selling tools and add-ons If you are really good with coding, scripting and math, then you probably need to start thinking about developing some tools and add-ons for Blender, especially the ones that solve burning problems for other Blender artists. If you think there is a tool that artists need in order to make their lives easier and their work more efficient, then you can create an add-on for it. Give it to people, see what they think about it, and if it turns out to be great and people use and love, then start monetizing it by asking people for small donations, which can go a long way. Also, there are of course other ways of monetizing your add-ons, like selling them in 3D assets marketplaces, such as Blender Market or Gumroad, just to name a few. Some Blender artists actually are dedicated to creating add-ons and they are able to generate a very good result, which can be a decent source of passive income. Also, creating small tools and add-ons can be your gateway to commercial software, which is a giant industry to say the least. Selling stock images and videos This can be one of the easiest ways to make money for Blender artists because it does not require lots of skills. Also, the spectrum of quality is wide and can vary from amazingly high-quality, mind-blowing landscapes or cities to small props like keys, spheres, and cubes. If you are good at creating animations, this is also something that you can make money from, because a lot of people need some b-roll in their videos or presentations as well. There are a lot of websites that allow you to do this and sell your photos and videos with no cost for entry. Developing an indie game Developing your video game has never been easier in the history of game development with the availability of free and strong software. You only need to use your talent and time to create video games that are playable and people love. I would say this is probably the hardest method of making money on the list because first of all you are going to need a lot of knowledge of game development, also it is going to take a lot of time to become reality. If you are passionate about video games, then do it but don't think about money too much. Think of it as a long side project that you will have fun with within your free time. And if you are serious about this, then you can recruit some artists or tell your friends to join you or some volunteers to speed up the process to create even a better video game. From the methods of making money as a 3D artist we mentioned here, obviously you are not going to pursue them all because depending on the skills you have, some of them are going to be appealing to you more than others. If you are completely new to working or monetizing your 3D artistic skills, I would say start with what seems easy in the particular level you are in right now. And as you get more experience, you might want to pursue other methods if you need to. Also, if you have never made a dollar from being an artist, please don't try everything at once because this is the fastest road to failure. Just stick to one or two or three maximum, persist long enough, and you will be successful if you don't give up. Also remember that everything that is worthwhile comes with time, and if you want something you do to bring you value in a form of money or any other form, you need to give value to others first, especially when it comes to a long-term thing like a blog, a YouTube channel, or social media. Making money online as a 3D artist is not easy, so don't expect it to be easy. And if art is not your main focus right now, let's say you have another job or you are still in school, then you can develop a few of these methods of making money on the side until it becomes a source of income. This way you're not going to face a lot of pressure and you are going to have fun with it. Just keep in mind, you are competing with thousands of people around the world that probably have years of experience in the market. You can't start today and expect to gain authority over them in a few days or even a few months, because success doesn't happen overnight. I am saying this because I want to put things in perspective so you don't give up or get discouraged real quick. And remember, artists have fun first and they make money later. I hope you found this video useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos 
Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.